Hi Taurus, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm here to give you a general energy reading. Keep in mind that this reading will be for past, present, and future, and it may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, if you would like to donate to the channel, purchase any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For anyone new to the channel, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Be sure to join the family. I would love to have you. Make sure that you hit that notification bell to be notified for your future readings. And for anybody returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for your love and support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for the sign of Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold, and anyone out there showing me love. Much love and light to you. All right. So, Spirit, tell me what do we have um, for Taurus? How is Taurus currently feeling right now? How is Taurus currently feeling right now? Every man wants a good woman like her. Okay. So Taurus, you may have your eyes on someone or you could even be talking to someone right now. And you could feel like they're definitely a good woman or a good man. And that they are a catch. Um, you may definitely be into this individual. And you can find something kind of innocent about this person. Right? Alright. So how is Taurus this person currently feeling about Taurus? So, Taurus, um, your person is, I feel like this person is kind of studying you, all right? I do feel like this person is kind of studying you. Um, they may be doing things like watching Zodiac channels for your sign or just paying very closely attention to you, right? The things that you like. Um, this person desires to know... Uh, how to get close to your heart, all right? Um, how to make you happy. But um, I do feel like um, they're kind of confused with this situation with you because it's like they really do like you, but they feel like you may not be the settling down type. And that could not even be the case, you know? Some of you guys may be experiencing you know, a breakup or your healing or whatever the case may be. Um, or you guys may just not want to settle down at this time. But it's like this person, it's like they feel like they, they're they so attached to you that even though you're not fully giving them the energy that they desire, they still feel a sense of attachment. I do see this person going through some type of self-realization, though, in regards to this connection. Um, because it's like this person is looking at you as... It's like something that you're doing or something in this connection is triggering this person. Because it says, I look at him and I see what changes I need to make within me. So somebody is viewing you as... The catalyst, you know, um, to making some sort of change within themselves, right? Um, this all, this person also is saying, um, what does he want? Where is he going in life? So I feel like this situation um, may definitely lack some sort of communication, especially on your person's end. Um, because I see you as viewing this person as somebody that anybody would want, right? And you're seeing this person as a fresh and innocent person of some sort. 
But I think honestly what it is is that this person is not truly expressing the things that are on their mind. Um, so this could be the type of situation where this person is saying that you don't seem like the settling downside. Maybe you are dating multiple people, right? But they may have still not brought up the conversation um, of settling down, right? So I think there's a, a, some confusion on both ends here, all right, um, that you guys need to clear up. So I'm seeing on your energy, and Rose may, may be reversed, so put yourself wherever you may fit if this is your story. But this card here is saying, um, don't throw this away over my mistake. It doesn't mean that I don't care about you. All right. So I feel like there's a situation. And if this is not you, this is your person. You know, where somebody made some sort of mistake. All right. And I feel like it triggered a change in this connection. And also a change in how somebody is being viewed. It says, I need my man to know who he is, take charge, and be confident. We aren't compatible. Our energies don't align. So this conversation could have came up either on your end or your person's end, where somebody just threw the towel in, in this situation. <clears throat> I believe that there was something that was not communicated that had made someone feel not secure in this particular connection, right? Um, because it's saying, don't throw this away over my mistake. So we're definitely going to clarify what that mistake is. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like you may have felt like you weren't compatible with this person, like you weren't aligning with their energy. Almost like they weren't sure of themselves, um, especially when it comes to making any sort of offer or commitment to you, all right? And it's like, I feel like a lot of you guys are at the point now where you either date for marriage or you don't date at all, right? Or, you know, it's a situation where you just don't want to waste your time. All right, you don't you don't want to devalue yourself. Um, so I'm definitely speaking to a high value woman or a high value man. All right. So let's find. Oh, I got one more here. What is this? I'm not sure what this is. Confirmation. So it's like being in a connection where you really like someone but not really knowing where the connection is going or what to even call the connection. All right. So let's find out more about the secrets here. All right, Spirit. What is the mistake um, that this individual is talking about? Uh, clarify this mistake that they don't want the collective to throw the situation away for. Whoa. So. They, the mistake was definitely that they smashed somebody else. I mean, it's, it came out first card. All right. Um, who is this individual that they were entertaining? Who is this individual that they were entertaining? Some sort of fake influencer. Okay. Tell me more about this individual. A player so whoever this whatever this mistake was it definitely has something to do with being intimate with another person 
Um, but this person, whoever they were intimate with, is a player as well. So it's like a player enter entertaining another player. What was the outcome? What is the outcome of that situation uh, with this person and this karmic energy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, whoever this individual is um, that they were entertaining is somebody who's hiding a lot with skeletons in, in their closet, okay? Um, this is someone that also tries very hard um, to, I don't know, please this, this individual. And I'm also seeing STD energy. Um, so I definitely see that and I see never satisfied. Um, so whoever this individual is that they entertain is somebody who may possibly nag a lot or they could argue a lot. Also, there could have been some sort of STD energy um, that was spread it throughout that connection. <clears throat> Just so you know. All right. So, um, Spirit, tell me, uh, what are the next steps uh, that this individual is taking towards Taurus? What are the next steps that this individual will take towards Taurus? So, the energy that I'm picking up here is that this person may uh, focus more on their stability. I don't really see them taking any action towards you. Um, it's like they have this energy of you not wanting you to throw this connection away because of a mistake that they made. But when it comes to the energy here, um, I do see that... Um, at this point, um, this person is focusing more on their finances. They're not exploring options at this time. Um, they could, they definitely are going through some sort of healing. And they're very confused as to the situation with this karmic. So this person stuck in their head about this third party situation that they entertained. And it's like they do want to move to a peaceful space with you. But I don't see them coming towards you. Um, and that's good because I feel like a lot of you guys are not wanting to entertain this energy anyway. All right. Um, Spirit, show me what else I need to know. Karma came back around because you got the lovers and the will of fortune reversed. So it's like this person had a choice in love, right? And you may have, um, you know, tried to really bond with this individual, but it's like you could never really get close to them. They may have been emotionally closed off or I don't know, like weird. But it's like your intuition told you that they had a choice in love and you were right. Clear as day, you were right. Um, but I do see karma coming around for this individual. Spirit, tell me, what is their karma? Uh, what is their karma? They're definitely going to be going through the dark night of the soul here. 
um, they're going to be in solitude. So if this was the type of person that liked to be around a lot of friends or like to explore many options, no more. This person is going to be in solitude because they're in their head about this experience that they have with this karma. They don't even really truly feel comfortable coming towards you because of this situation. This is what they're hiding. Yeah, King of Swords here. They're looking at things. See, they're forced to go in solitude and work with the spirit spirit guides. And it's because this person had a hard time seeing things logically. You were a great person. Um, to this individual and I feel like they left you confused right you know they may have kind of gave you the energy that they were going to settle down like they were a boss like individual or that they were a great influencer or someone that you know would set great examples for others but I feel like you just learned that this person was a player and they had a lot to hide And they were trying very hard, um, definitely, uh, to hide this STD energy. I see the Queen of Cups here. So I feel like it was a choice between you and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Possibly Gemini. So no worries. Because this person got the nine of swords energy here. The stress is crazy because a lot of you guys just blocked this person out of your life completely. All right. All right. So I do want to dive into uh, some new love. And some spirit messages here. Mm -hmm. 